Hi, this is Oliver Lucanus from Below Water. Today I want to show you a habitat on the Atlantic coast of Brazil, a typical forest stream draining towards the Atlantic. This is where Scleromystax, the long-faced relatives of Corydoras, are found. All of the species occur along this stretch of the Atlantic coast rivers in Brazil. This undescribed fish is just north of the range of the other species. Don't get too excited about the accuracy of my maps, please. It's just to give you a sense of place, not a treasure map. This video is around 20 years old, but I think it's really interesting. And when this was filmed, this fish had never been exported before. The habitat is this car white creek that has moderate to strong flow in the dry season. And it's not far from the Atlantic Ocean. When we arrived, we could already see the silver shiny backs of the Corridoras in the shallow water and they were really big in size. There are some tetras here, likely Hufesobrucon itapacariensis, Geophagus itapicurensis, and lots of tadpoles forming large balls in the current. And of course, we can see hoplias in the shallow water. Hoplias are in just about every habitat in South America, and there were lots of juveniles here hunting in the shallows. They would certainly eat the Scleromystax as well. A retired Italian man living in the city of Salvador in the state of Bahia had mentioned that he found a new Corridoras and took us on a wild drive along the coast to see this fish. It is maybe the largest Scleromystax and I think certainly the most beautiful. Today this fish has the name CW38, but we called it silverback because the big old males have a silver or gold streak down their back like gorillas. At least in the dry season, they do not appear to have any territories. The fish all just school together in the current, searching for food in the substrate. When we dragged the large seine net, we found plenty of tubifex like worms, which are the main food source for these catfish. They are pretty much always in motion and only form a school when several people start to walk around in the creek. The rest of the time, they are feeding either as individuals or in small troops of two to six animals. It took a while, but finally we found some juveniles. That is not always common in the tropics, because the flood pulse caused by the onset of the rainy season is the trigger that makes most species spawn. And so our short visits to the fish habitats in the dry season are not always representative of what the habitats are like, because it is the other extreme, the low water mark, and we don't always find juvenile fish. The Scleromystax babies ended up living in the very shallow water, even though their main predators, the Hoplias and Kingfishers, could just as easily reach them there. The babies are the color of the sand, with black dorsal fins and some square black blotches on their flanks. The water here was cool, 23 degrees Celsius, soft and just slightly acidic but also well saturated in oxygen. Outside temperatures along the coast of Brazil are hot this time of the year, in the mid 30s. And that is one of the biggest issues with transporting fish like this. Likewise, our homes in the Northern Hemisphere are too hot in the summer to keep these fish. And it is a lot of effort to run a chiller on an aquarium for just one species. I would definitely recommend to keep these fish in a cool place in the house where temperature varies naturally and it does not go above 26 degrees in the summer. Here in Canada, that is a real challenge for most of us now. All of these Scleromystax are really vulnerable to changes in their habitat because they are often found in very small rivers and with so many people living on the coast of Brazil, these creeks and rivers are under more intense pressure than the ones in the interior. Within the range map we looked at earlier are the cities of Salvador, Vitoria, Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo and Curitiba. Just those major cities are roughly 30 million people. Let us hope that these beautiful catfish occur in some of the habitats that are not part of the progress of our species. I hope you like this second Corridoras video. We also made one for Corridoras Apiaca. You can find the link in the description. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and look out for more videos. 
This one is also available in Japanese and maybe in German if we can find the time.